Hello, and thanks for tuning in to a redo of our 1984 Westphalia van. There's the original Craigslist of the van that we found, and us going to pick it up as a family in North Carolina to bring him home to Georgia. Here he is when we brought him home. Body panels were a little rough. Paint was definitely faded. This is us checking him out before we purchased him. Uh, the inside was not a look that we wanted to, uh, to run with, but the van was mechanically sound. It had a rebuilt 2.1 liter water boxer with 6,000 miles on it. I felt good about that. A new air conditioning unit, all new coolant hoses from Van Cafe, and just some other items that uh, I knew I didn't want to deal with, but the cosmetic issues I was ready to tackle. The inside was kind of a music festival feel, which wasn't really our look. They did put new upholstery in it, which looked great. And we moved from Georgia to California and Oscar, of course, had to come with us. Unfortunately, I think when he was on the back of the transport truck, a couple of the grounds and other things, uh, engine related, rattled loose because as soon as we got him to California, he was running terribly. So I had to deal with that. Plenty of dents and scrapes that I knew were in my stability with Bondo. Some more seams that we ground out, got rid of all the rust and put rust inhibitor in Bondo. There's the back deck lid with just some dents that we wanted to take care of. And I put truck bed liner around the bottom that's so popular now. Definitely makes it look a little bit better. There he is, first coat, second coat went on without a problem. Already starting to look better. The grill was a little bit faded, so such an easy project to take it off. I put satin black, and there it is back on, along with the truck bed liner on the front grill. Starting to come together. The wheels were way too small, so I went with, from the 14 inch, I found the 15 inch wheel and put General Grabber AT2s, which have been fantastic. And then he started breaking down on me. AAA was a lifesaver, stumped a few mechanics, but it turned out it was the distributor. Ken at Vanagon found us a new Bosch distributor, which was very difficult to find, and that has made all the difference in the world. We sorted out the engine, replaced a couple of vacuum lines, put in steel braided brake lines that took the pedal from being squishy and made it so much more firm change the engine oil and the transmission oil, which is always tricky on a van again. And I saw this trick on the Samba, which worked fantastically. And I put a blaze cut, such an easy, inexpensive thing to do when you own a van again and potential engine fires. If you have a van again and don't have a blaze cut, I definitely recommend you get one. And then cosmetic, uh, the window sills were all brittle and go westy cells all the new seals, so we put those on and that looks so much better and functions better. The dashboard was looking dim, so I took it apart, vacuumed it, repainted all the dials, and put in new LED lights. There it is on the left and then the right, and I found EVA foam that looks like teak on Amazon. It was 50 bucks for the roll. I made a custom center console out of plywood and coated it in the, that same EVA foam, water bottle storage, cups uh, on the front deck lid, big enough to hold laptops inside, and a control panel with USB ports, 12-volt plug, and a voltmeter. And then camping lighting, LED strip, makes all the difference when camping. And I didn't want to paint Oscar, I wanted to buy myself some time, so I wrapped it in vinyl, spent about 600 bucks on the vinyl, and did the whole thing, and it's so much less expensive than painting the van because I wasn't sure how I wanted to paint it and so I knew this would buy me five to seven years on that. And there it is wrapped, it took me about five days to do. Uh, tricky to learn the process, but once you did it with a heat gun and learning how the material works, it, it went on pretty well and looks good. But I didn't want to keep it a white van. I knew I wanted to give it a little bit more character. So I bought more vinyl uh, racing stripes and applied those in this look. I wanted to give it kind of a vintage surfboard feel since we were in California. And we use Oscar as our surf cabana, beach cabana, and just had a great time with him beachside. Took it to Goleta up north uh, camping and had wonderful memories. And then we did Big Sur 
in Oscar. Fantastic road trip. There he is showing off Seaside, surfboard on top. And then he broke down, well he didn't break down, he had a fuel line leak that I didn't want to mess with, so I found a shop to replace the fuel line. There I am frustrated, but we were, we were quickly back on the road, crossing the Golden Gate Bridge, made it into the Redwood Forest to spend the night under the huge Redwood Forest. We kept looking for Ewoks, didn't find any. And then we are looking for whales on the top of Oscar on Big Sur. He's not broken down here. We're actually putting him back on a transport truck to go from California back to Georgia. And so here he is being unloaded in Georgia. So he's done two cross country road trips, but not under his own power. And we're unloading him and now we're doing some Southeastern adventures in Oscar. The kids were so happy to have him back. Here he is in the driveway back home in Georgia. Kids acting like mom and dad. If you have a Westie and kids, you know they think of it as basically a rolling playhouse and love it. I had black wheels, but everybody has black wheels now, so I wanted to be a little different. So I spray painted them silver metallic, a dark silver. That was such an easy project and I'm pleased with how they came out. And then I wanted to give it less of a hippie feel, more of an off-road feel. So I made my own light bar out of PVC pipes and some brackets from Amazon. There's a camping light, they're the Hella 500s. I wanted an old school look with the Hellas and put a shovel on the front just to make it a little bit more robust. I also added a bottle opener on the front of the grill. And a voltmeter on the left, the light bar switch and the camping light on the right, the green switch. And Westies are great for everything. I've carried tons of firewood. I'm an artist that can hold up to a 48 inch wide canvas, six feet long in the back. We've even transported a basketball goal for the kids. There's a basketball goal on the inside and the stand up on top. So Westies are true multi-purpose vehicles. One of the first actually. So there's Oscar as he stands today, sitting in a creek, got a shovel, a new paddle, light bar rack. So that's 1984 Westphalia Vanagon. If you're thinking about a Westphalia Vanagon, definitely check them out. And please like and subscribe if you like this video.